Hey, how's it going? Dave Tudy here. So we're all pretty stoked about Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S10. It's coming out in early 2019, and this is why. The screen on that S10 is likely gonna be using Samsung's Infinity O screen. It's gonna be a beautiful screen, notchless, pretty much bezel-less, and it's gonna rock the world. So instead of a notch or a bezel, we're looking at a circular punch out for the camera hole. So the home screen, the regular UI, if you're watching videos, everything's gonna look so much cleaner with such small bezels and a punched out camera hole instead of a notch. Now it isn't the first screen with a punched out hole. Samsung's A8 has it, and a few other Chinese phones have had holes in their screens, but the Galaxy S10 is the first phone that's gonna have a punch out hole on an OLED screen. So Samsung's using their laser hole punching tech to cut holes on AMOLED displays, and that stuff looks awesome. All the other displays that are having holes in their screens are using LCD panels, and we all know AMOLED is king when it comes to displays. Okay, the processor on the S10 is also gonna be some fast stuff. It's gonna be the Snapdragon 8150 or the Exynos 9820, depending on where you get it from. And both of those are gonna be faster than the previous generation. But truthfully, it's not like we need faster phones per se, right? We want a better experience. It's just that newer phones invariably have faster processors in them. Okay, another change that's happening on the S10 is the fingerprint sensor. The S10 will now allow you to unlock your phone with an in-display ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. So we've seen that tech before, right? Well, the idea of an in-display fingerprint sensor is not new, but most of the phones out there are using an optical sensor. So you put your thumb on the screen, it shines a light, illuminates your thumb, and it'll read that fingerprint. On the S10, it's gonna use an ultrasonic sound wave to map a 3D image of your thumbprint, and so you get better accuracy and better speed. And that's one of the issues that we've seen with fingerprint sensors that are built into the display. They tend to be a little bit slower. So on the OnePlus 6T, that was the first thing that myself and a lot of other reviewers noticed is that you put your finger on it compared to a rear mounted fingerprint sensor, it's just invariably slower. A little bit slower, but it is noticeable. With ultrasonic technology, that's supposed to be a little bit faster and significantly more accurate. The UI on the S10 is supposed to be completely overhauled. So the S9 has been running Samsung Experience, which is eh, most, some people like it, but most people find it pretty bloated still. The S10 is gonna be running one UI. So they have betas of this out already. It's a much cleaner and simpler interface. The whole idea is to make the UI less cluttered and less bloated. They also have some features that make it easier to use it with one hand. So a lot of the interactable elements are pushed down to the lower part of the screen so you don't have to reach as far and stuff. It's a cool idea, but we'll see how Samsung implements that in the future. Now, there's a couple cool rumors of a 5G model with 12 gigs of RAM and a terabyte of storage. That sounds pretty bonkers if it's real but the big question that remains unanswered for me is whether or not the S10 will have a headphone jack because the whole Galaxy line, like the Note, the S9, the S9 Plus, they were the last phones that had the headphone jack and like they're the chosen one. If these guys remove it, if Samsung removes the headphone jack from the S10, that's, that's it. Like all the major flagships have removed the headphone jack and these are the last ones left. So I hope they have it. But anyways, I'm stoked for the phone. I think a lot of you guys are. The S10 is gonna be lit. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.